Hey guys, Hicksome Craft here, and in today's video, I'll show you how to beat Hello Neighbor Act 1. So, when you first load into the game, all you gotta do is start a new game. Okay, so once you're in the game, you want to run down and get your ball. You can hold shift to sprint, space to jump, WASD to walk, and control is crouch. And for this next part, you can't actually move when the neighbor notices you. You just gotta wait. As you can see, the red key is upstairs. Now, what you want to do is you want to grab a bin lid and a garbage can. You want to go over to this ladder thing. It's like just a shelf. I don't really know what it's called, but you just want to climb up it. Place down your garbage can and try to jump on top of it without falling over. Then you want to go over to this side and try to make it over here. And then you want to just hold down right click until it goes white around the edges and let go. And it'll smash that. Now you want to take this picture, you can also throw it, and jump in through here. And then grab this. And you can also unlock this and throw away the key because you don't need it anymore. But now with this, this is the key for the car and unlock it. And now I like to distract the neighbor here by throwing something at his window and then going to the other side of the house here. And what you need to do actually is grab your garbage can now go around here so there we go now you want to jump up and hold left click and drop this magnet and the magnet will drop this lock pick and you can also do it for a crowbar but the crowbar isn't really technically it's not necessary for beating the game and then unlock this and make sure to close the door behind you and grab this wrench and unlock this and climb up it and land on this thing land on this thing grab the red key take the chair throw it go through here open this fast as humanly possible So you want to run down the stairs, open this, run through here, open this, take a basketball, throw it at this thing, jump out the window, grab this thing, open this, walk through it, 
keep running through the hallway. Open this. Open this. Take this chair, don't throw it away. Run through here. Place this down. Throw a chair at it. And now try to climb up it. If that doesn't work, just keep trying it. Because it will work eventually. So you just want to really chuck it. And it looks like this might be the one. Yep. And then you just turn on this generator. Climb through here. And because that's blocked, we would have used that normally. But they blocked it. So now you just want to run through here. This part is... It can be a little bit scary, but it's pretty easy if you know it. As long as you know to just run as fast as you can, it's hard to fail. Yeah, so I'll go here and then start running backwards. We could probably do Act 2 in this video also. So once you get to Act 2, just open this door a couple times. Run around. And then just look through the keyhole. And this thing will pop up. He'll open the door for you. And that is actually Aaron, the neighbor's son. Well, it's a cardboard cut out of him. Just want to climb through the vent up the ladder. <laughs> And then you'll escape right through here. And now you can just grab this crate. And you just want to run through here. Click this. Go into his house. Flip this. Go into his freezer. And then you can use the wrench, open this. And then you can walk all the way through here, make it, and then flip this. Jump back on the roof. And now you're gonna have to jump off the roof to grab this. And what you can do is you can place this thing here. It's a little bit tricky. And then you can just, right here, you just want to jump and make your way across. Even though it looks like you're going to fall, you won't. And then place that wheel that you just got on here using left click, not right click. And then twist that and grab it again. But now, just want to climb up this thing. And then can open this door and if you want you can grab this you don't really need it but it's just pretty cool and then climb through this thing shark doesn't kill you even if you touch it you can just kick him around you can even throw something at him <laughs> uh, looks like we're gonna have to get rid of this and then we grab that um, And try not to die like that. They just want to climb down here. Great. So, you want to grab this chair. And go all the way through here. And now because the water is drained... We can actually use this, so we're actually going to have to get rid of a couple things here. Um, please do not fall through the floor shovel. Yeah, you just stay there. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We don't need any of these anymore. So now we just want to get a full inventory of boxes. And stack it up. And try to open the door box.
jump open. There we go. So I stack up your boxes one last time. And now you can... There we go, we made it. Now you can open this, grab this, and unlock this. Break a window one last time and get out of here. And now you'll spawn over here. And if you don't want to wait for 20 minutes, go to the pause menu, hit restart, and now you can actually grab the letter without waiting for it. I'm just going to keep skipping some of these cutscenes. We get here, open the back of your car, there's a key. Boom, bop, bang. Pretty simple. Phone's ringing. So now you can grab this and this. You might want to grab an apple too. That is what you're going to do here is go to the elevator and if you miss that you just stack a box in the chair and you can actually just reach it with your hands go up to elevator both of these are blocking my vision pretty badly so no but now you just run down here and jump right here onto the railroad tracks and then onto here and you can use this guy to break that and just make sure he doesn't fall grab the umbrella get onto this thing then you can throw either a box or a chair at it since you didn't use those when you were yeah, sometimes that happens. It's not very fun at all. So I'm gonna have to grab my box back. And... Lamp is in the way, so I need to grab another one. And need to grab another one. And need to grab another one. Finally. Now you can just climb back out here. And you're probably going to want to go through here. If you just open the door really fast, grab a box, throw it. Get the corner box, throw it. Keep opening it. Grab another box, throw it if you need to. Grab all the boxes and hat hangers that you need you can even throw a flashlight at it then you make it through just make sure you don't throw the flashlight anywhere where you can't get it and that's really it for that room you just want to open it up you don't need to do anything yet now you can go through here open that up hit the button it will start the train And now what you can do, and then jump, and you can jump over this thing, and I recommend because if you're good at jumping over this railing, don't open this because then the neighbor can walk through. So yeah, and then to open this room is actually pretty simple, all you need to do is to just jump just like that then you want to grab this picture and throw it at this thing and if you hit it you can walk through here grab the key put it down grab that and you will have to Place a few things down. Um, and I just like to do this real quick. And I'm actually going to place this box down. Can I get rid of this chair? 
grab this, go through here, turn off his cameras, and I can go right back through here and open the door. Now we don't need this key, and we also have a free spot in our inventory. We can get another free spot in our inventory if we just open this. And this was the room we were just in, so you don't really need to do much here. And keep going to the no-gun room. Then you want to climb. And you can take a pair of binoculars and a shoe. Whichever one works better at opening this thing up. It does. Here we go. And then you just grab it. As you can see, it did work. But yeah, it's, you just need to keep trying until you get it. Then you want to go through this door, take this chair, throw it, take the magnet, and you want to pick up the crowbar. You are going to drop it, so you just take this, and you're going to want to take it down through the birthday room, open this thing up, take it through here, and just turn on the water. Now this is no longer necessary. And open this up and the code is 2369. And try to make it without dying. Yes! Okay, so this thing's just gonna keep pushing you. And you just gotta land. And you can grab this mannequin. As you can see it was 2369. And now you're gonna try to make it back through here. And there we go. I know it sounds weird, but you wanna try to land onto the train so you can get onto the roof. And I messed up. Oh no. Shoot. Alright, I'm gonna have to try to get it without dying. Okay, I made it through. And I have to go all the way back through the house. You wanna try to make it on here. And yeah, it's a little bit difficult. So instead, what you can actually do is just grab your umbrella and jump over here. And then, try to jump over here. And then, you can just climb right through here. Open that up, and when you walk through, there will be a mini game. It's nothing much. So, you just climb up this thing. Jump through here. Jump onto these things. Jump on this box, climb through here, grab these things, throw it at this thing. Because even me, I'm I played this a thousand times and I still can't get it first try. So you can just try to aim for the plates here. And because it is very difficult, you want to try to actually land back on this thing if you can't make it. And try to make it into here, and... Yeah. So just try to land on the plates. Like that, and then you can jump up here. You can climb right through here. And then in through here, even though it looks pretty creepy, it's not. These eyes are just decorations. Then you want to jump onto this. This is why I was saying jump on the pickles, because you just take you right here anyways. Jump. And then these things fall when you step on them, so you want to be quick. As you can see. <laughs> now you can jump right back on top of this. And fall through here. And now you'll get pushed up here. You can climb across these tuna cans and orange juice boxes. 
and try to make it you will need four darts and you can either do this thing which is very hard but what i like to do just climb through here walk up here and that's what the paper airplanes would take you to but i think it's easier to go through there so then climb through here climb up the phone go through here throw a dart at the wall throw another dart at the wall and it's probably gonna knock you down throw another dart at the wall and sometimes you can make it without four but sometimes you do need it you want to climb up here listen to the arrow and jump and then just hit the space bar a couple times and this always happens to me so that's fun and sometimes you just need to go back to your last auto save and you will not have the double jump you'll be thrown right back here so i'm gonna do that again i'll see you guys later okay guys double jump and oof i missed all right so yeet So we're just gonna jump down through here and try not to miss and just hit E a bunch of times until this thing falls and I grabbed it. This is a cool little easter egg, it's video game news. So I like to take that thing and right through here. Um, And I just like to grab it. And now we can go through here and put this mannequin right down here. Yeet. Nope, I missed. Okay. Well. Okay guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And if your name is Sio Sono, please claim your prize. I emailed you. And see you guys in the next video.